I'm just trying to get in some holiday shopping, but all these stores are so packed. Please, sir, if you have any change to spare. I'm not talking to you, homeless. Please, sir, it's the holidays. Have a I'm heart. going to get security. No, 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 please, sir, don't do that. I, well, I'm just really down on my luck. Hey, just leave her alone. Oh, and what are you, some kind of homeless hero? Just get out of here. Stop being so mean to people. This is literally wasting my time. Wow, thank you so much, sir. No, it was nothing. Here, take this. Oh, thank you. And wait a minute. Ben? Um, how do you know my name? Ben, I'm your mother. Oh my gosh, I never thought I would see you again. What? What are you talking about? She's over there. Don't worry, I'll take care of the homeless I'm problem. so sorry. I have to go. Hey, wait, no! Stop! Come back! Mom, come back, please! Man, where did she go? Mom! Mom! Hey, what are you doing here, huh? Well, I was just looking for my mom. She ran in here and, and I can't find- Shut up! Sorry? I said shut up, okay? Give me all the money you got. What? No, no way! I know you got money. Hand it over. I'm not giving you anything. Now just leave me alone. How about I give you a knuckle sandwich? Oh. <laughs> and I'll just take this and be on my way. Oh, oh. My stomach. Benjamin, there you are. Dad. What do you think you were doing running off like that? What are you doing in this part of town? I can explain. Wait a minute. How'd you even find me here? I have your location on my phone, okay? I saw you talking to some homeless woman before. What's going on? She told me that she was my real mom. Ugh, not this again. Seriously, Benjamin, we've been over this. I know you're having a difficult time finding out you're adopted, but that doesn't change everything. I'm still your father. Oh, of course, Dad. I know that, but I really think it was her. I know it. All right, enough of this, okay? Let's get out of here. We can talk about it when we get home. Come on, where are those adoption files? I know the truth is out there. I just gotta find it. I need to know more about my past. Ben, seriously, more of your adoption stuff? You're still not over that homeless woman, are you? I need to know the truth about myself, and this could be the answer. You are a Princeton. That's all you need to know. You don't get it, Dad. What you don't seem to get, young man, is that you need to focus on the business of increasing our family wealth. It's really important to me. I've got to find out. Find out what? Where you came from? Benjamin, I adopted you when you were a baby, okay? You are a Princeton, one of the richest people in this town. I no longer want to talk about this. This is final. Well, this isn't over yet. I'm going to find the truth out one way or another. She's got to be here somewhere. Oh, there she is. Hey, mom. Ben, oh, I'm so happy to see you again. Yeah, I'm happy to see you too. But I think we really need to talk. Of course, whatever you need. Well, I really want to know how we got separated in the first place. What happened to us? Oh, honey, it's a terrible story, but you deserve to know. Back when you were a baby, there was a war going on. Our old hometown got caught in the crossfire, and I was running back to our house, and there was a huge explosion. It knocked me out, and when I came to, all I could do was watch our home burn to the ground. I lost everything that day. All of our money, all of our belongings, and worst of all, I thought I lost you. Here you are. It's kind of crazy to think about. I had no idea. I only found out recently that I was adopted. But what about you? You're not doing okay, are you? Ben, don't worry about me. I'm okay. I'm just glad that you're okay. Well, that's not good enough for me, Mom. I really want to make sure you get back on your feet. Here, take this. No, no, honey, please. I can't accept that. You have to. We're going to get you out of this homelessness. I promise you, Mom. Hey, Dad, I'm home. You and I need to have a serious conversation, young man. Uh, okay. About what? I caught you giving money to that homeless woman yet again. What is wrong with you? Uh, you know what? Whatever. Dad, that's my mom. That is not your mother. The two of you barely look alike. Don't you trust your own son? Of course I trust you, Benjamin. I don't trust anybody else, especially that woman. She's probably just scamming you for no, your she money. she isn't. Even when I try to offer her money, she always refuses it. I'm going to help her, whether you like it or well, not. I certainly don't like you throwing away our family fortune to any homeless person it's on the not street. Just any homeless person, Dad. What don't you understand? What I don't understand is how you become such a disrespectful and disobedient young man. I have raised you better than this, and I forbid you from seeing that homeless woman ever Dad, again. Dad, you can't do oh, this. Yes, I can. And if I see you around her one more time, I'm going to cut you off. No inheritance, no allowance, nothing. You'll be homeless, just like the rest of them. Do I make myself clear? Dad. You 
can't do this to me. I'm your son. I can do whatever I want. Now it's up to you whether you obey my rules. Uh, there's nothing in here again. What am I going to do? Mom, what are you doing in here? Oh, I'm just looking for something to eat. Don't worry about me. Oh, Mom, get out of that dumpster. Okay. Look, how about you and me go get some real food, huh? Oh, honey, you don't have to do that. Mom, please, let me buy you some food. I'd really like to spend some time with you. Me too. Okay, let's go. This is so good. It's been so long since I've had a real meal. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Mom, and you better get used to it. Get used to it? What do you mean by that? Well, you're not going to be homeless anymore. What are you talking about, Ben? I'm talking about that I'm going to help you get a job. That way you can get back on your feet again, and you won't have to be homeless anymore. Ben, you don't have to do all of this for me. I can figure this out on my own. Don't be silly. You're my mom. It's the least I could do for you. I just feel like I don't deserve this. Well, that's where you're wrong, Mom. Now, come on, eat up. You're going to need as much energy as possible for all those interviews I'm going to get you. Your life is going to change, Mom, for the better. I promise. Look, Benjamin, your father's a dear friend of mine. I'm a very busy man. Now, what can I help you with? Uh, Mr. Chandler, I was actually really hoping that you could help my mom get a job. I don't know about this, Benjamin. I mean, your father did tell me all about this. Homeless woman you claim is your mother. But, Mr. Chandler, my mom is a survivor of the war. I know all about her now. Another survivor from the war, huh? We lost everything in that terrible war. And it took some time to get me to where I am now. My mom wasn't so lucky. She's been struggling ever since. Well, if this means so much to you, I'll give your mother a chance, and she can start first thing tomorrow morning. Really? You mean it? Of course. Just make sure you don't tell your father. I don't want him getting mad at me as well. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Chandler. She'll be here first thing tomorrow, I promise. Are you out of your mind? Absolutely not. Come on, Dad. She can stay here just until she can get some money to get her I'm own place. I'm not going to allow a random homeless person to live in this fine establishment. Dad, come on. We have plenty of rooms. She can take one of the five guest rooms. You'd probably never even see her anyway. Then she'll be running around my house stealing all of our fine objects and Dad, family heirlooms. she isn't like that. She's you my mom. You barely know this woman. She could be lying to you for all you know. And then what? You're going to have her steal all of our belongings and make us homeless too? No, Dad. God, what aren't you understanding? I don't understand how my son could fall for all these lies and manipulation. It's impossible for that woman to be your how mother. How do you know that, huh? You don't know everything. You're getting scammed, Benjamin, and I know it. I love you, and I don't want to see you getting hurt. You just can't accept this. Accept what? That my son is going to get scammed? No, that my mom is back in my life, and you want nothing to do with her. I'm done talking. Denise, can I talk to you in my office, please? Of course, Mr. Chandler. Is everything okay? Well, Denise, we have to have a serious, serious conversation. Oh no. Did I do something wrong? Wrong? No, of course not. Over these past few months since you've been hired, our profit has gone way through the roof. Oh wow, that's really good news. Indeed it is. I'm extremely proud of you, Denise, and the progress you've been making. In fact, we're going to promote you to a manager position within the company. Really? Wow, thank you so much, Mr. Chandler, for everything. Don't thank me. You should be thanking and your son, Ben, for getting you to this point. But you've done great work. Congratulations, Denise. Oh my gosh, Mom, that's so exciting. Congratulations. Thank you so much, honey. It just feels so good. Well, you know, this calls for a celebration. Get away from my son. Dad, what are you doing here? I'm trying to save you from this scammer, scammer? and fraud. Excuse me? I am no scammer. The second you saw my son, you knew he was rich, and you knew you were going to scam him for his money. You are not his mother. Yes, I am. How dare you say that to me? How dare you talk back to me like this? You know what? I'm calling the Oh, Dad, I'm so sick of you interfering with my life. I am your father, young man. How dare you speak to me that you way? You don't know what you're talking about at all. Wait, where are you going? Ben, wait. Ben, there you are. What are you doing here? I just, I really wanted to be alone. Well, I was looking for you everywhere. 
think you need to go home. Your father must be worried sick. Well, I don't want to go back. For the first time, I'm starting to understand where I came from, and, and my dad just doesn't understand. I just feel so lost right now. I don't know what's real. Ben, I understand what your dad is going through, because I would feel the exact same way if I was in his shoes. I would be worried sick about you. And I would definitely be suspicious of a stranger claiming to be your long-lost mom or dad. Yeah... I guess so. If there's one thing for certain, I know I am your mother. I can feel it in my heart. I just, I don't know. I'm not so sure about anything right now. I completely understand. It's a lot to take in all at once. Look, we can get a blood test. If that's what it takes to prove that I am your mother, I am more than willing to do anything for that. Well, maybe that is a good idea. In the meantime, you should go home and talk to your father, okay? I'll think about it, Mom. Okay, just be safe, okay? I'll see you soon. Instead, I think I'm going to go back to the town that I was born in. I need to get some answers for myself. Wow, this is where I came from, huh? This place is still so destroyed. I can't believe no one is here to help. Well, there's somebody. Um, hey there, uh, do you need any help with that? Oh, help? No, no, thank you. I built this bakery before and I can build it back up again, that's for sure. Wow, you built this place? Sure did. And I'm not going anywhere. They try to tell me to leave the town. It's done for. No, I'm not going anywhere. This is my bakery and I'm staying here right put. Know what I'm saying? So you've been here a long time, huh? My whole life. Did you ever know anybody by the name of Denise Clarkson? I do remember Denise. Really? You know her? Oh, of course I do. She used to come to my bakery all the time. She was a very, very important person in this community. When the war first broke out, she was the first one to help people. Finding them shelter, giving them food. She started a massive relief fund here. Wow, she really did all that? She did. Until there was another attack on the town and uh, we lost her. No one knows if she survived. And if Denise made it, I sure hope she's doing okay. Well, I can tell you right now that she's fine. She's actually my mom. You know, son, you're very lucky to have her as your mom. That woman is extremely special. Well, if you don't mind, I got a lot of work to get back to. Tell your mom I said hi, okay? She'll know me, John Baker. Oh, all right, I will. Thank you so much for everything. Well, the results are in. According to all the lab results, Denise Clarkson is in fact your son's mother. Oh, right. I knew it. See, I told you. I just knew you were my son. Yeah, right. This is impossible. Your lab must have made a mistake. My lab is one of the best in the country, sir. Trust me, this is no mistake. Denise is Ben's mother. Oh, yeah? How much did this lady pay you, huh? Seriously, sir? Nothing. And you cannot raise your voice to me in my hospital. I can do whatever I want. Dad, stop. You're being ridiculous. You seem to face the fact that my mom is back in my life. No, I will never face that fact, nor will I accept it, because it is a lie. I know it's a lie, and I Dad, can prove it too. where are you too. going? I know it. Honey, are you sure he's here? Yeah, I'm positive. Hey, there you are. Dad, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just uh, looking at this old photograph of you when you were a kid. Back when things seemed a whole lot more simple, you know? Dad, are you crying? No, 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 of course not. I'm sorry, Ben, okay? I was just afraid that once you found your mom, you were gonna leave me behind. Dad, I would never do that. But how could you not? I'm not even your real father, and this is your real mother. Yeah, but Ben still needs a father in his life, and you've done an incredible job raising my son. Exactly. You're always gonna be my dad. You really mean it, Ben? Of course, Dad. I love you. I love you too. You'll always be my son. And Denise, I'm uh, sorry for everything. It wasn't right of me to do all that stuff and say all those things, so to make up for it, I'd, uh, I'd like you to stay here with us. Ben says you really need a home, and your home can be here, if you'd like. Yeah, I'd love to. Thank you so much. And now, we can be a big happy family, together. <laughs>